I've been using the iPad Magic Keyboard for a long time. Since I bought it, I've used it pretty much every day. And this is a list of some random tips I have for the people using it. And no, it won't be the same thing you've seen over and over again. So the first tip is a one which zooms the screen in just using the keyboard. You just click Option, Command and 8 to zoom it in and if you move the cursor around, you can move around your zoomed in a screen which is pretty useful. Also hold down to the same keys and press plus or minus to zoom in even further or to zoom out of course. It's the same double tap with three fingers zoom in that you can use on your iPad or iPhone. But in this case you're only using the keyboard. And you also need to have it enabled first in order for this to work. So the gesture doesn't work for you then you'll need to go to the settings, then go to accessibility and tap on a zoom and there at first make sure it's enabled and also play around with some of the settings. I like to keep the full screen zoom enabled like this. A lot of times it's really hard to access the dock from within apps that you use. So you just hover there at the bottom and it just doesn't show up. Well, in order to make it appear, you need to sharply and quickly use the cursor to go to the bottom. Then it'll slide up, so you just have to be quick. In order to access the control center, you can either click the trackpad and slide it down from the upper right corner, but what's simpler is clicking on the battery and it will show up. You don't need to drag down anything, just click on Wi-Fi slash battery indicators and it's just gonna go up. In fact, you can just tap it and not even click it. But this also has to be turned if it's not. So if you want to turn on tap instead of clicking, go to settings, general, trackpad and tap with click will allow you to just touch the trackpad to perform a click. The next tip is really useful and you'll never use the iPad the same way you did. But if you're new here, Foxtech will provide you with hundreds of tutorials that will help you with your Apple devices and also answers your questions in series like AQ, which stands for Apple's questions. So subscribe because chances are you'll find answer to your questions here. Okay, so you don't have to press the power and volume button to take a screenshot on iPad anymore. Just use the shortcuts. So just tap Command, Shift and 3. This will take a screenshot, but if you intend on editing the picture right after, then instead of clicking 3, you press 4. So Command, Shift 4 and you'll go straight to the editing mode. To quickly scrub through your home screen pages, just firmly press the dots at the bottom using the trackpad and move around to quickly pass through the pages. If you ever want to log the iPad and make it go black, just use this shortcut. So you click Ctrl, Command and Q to quickly lock your iPad screen anytime and anywhere, no matter what you do. If you are using Notion, and I guess you do, because it's one of the most popular note-taking and productivity apps for iPad. Well, if you press Command-Shift-L, this switches between a light and a dark mode. And I find this to work better than going to the settings and changing it manually. By the way, I tested out some other apps and this didn't work in the other ones. Let me know in the comments if it works for you with other apps and if you can switch to dark mode with this shortcut in other environments. Also in the Apple's Notes app, there are some hidden things and hidden gestures in the Notes app. Well, there are actually many of them and I plan on covering them more in the future. Anyway, let's say you want to switch between the dot, number and dash listings within the Notes. You can do it by holding down on the command Shift and 7, 8 or 9 respectively. So you can just see that you're clicking these and it just switches between them. You, you can quickly change from one to the other, so that's actually really useful. And the last tip I have for you in this particular video is that if you're not familiar with some shortcuts, you can actually search through the available ones. So clicking on command and at the question mark, 
allows you to get to the search and you can search for some of the keywords or commands that you may think are accessible in here and if you can find them you can actually use them within the app so that's also really useful because you may not always remember all of them these were some fresh quick tips and also watch the 250 plus shortcuts video that i made for you in the past you're gonna find some great value in it so just click the video right here and I'll see you there